Hello? Hey, what's up, Mark? This is Ron. Ron? Got a, a real quick question I keep hearing. All the kids, my son included, is in the art school. Keep saying the words crop factor. Crop factor. Don't know what it is. In digital photography, the sensor acts in place of a frame of film. The reference size for any digital sensor is the size of a 35 millimeter frame of film. So a full frame sensor is the same size as a frame of 35 millimeter film. Most DSLRs don't have full frame sensors. They have cropped sensors, which means the sensor isn't as big as the reference size. The APS-C sensor found in most Canon DSLRs from the T3 to the 7D is about 62% of the size of a full frame sensor. In other words, a full frame sensor is 1.6 times as big as the crop sensor, hence the term 1.6 crop factor. With the smaller sensor, some of the light being focused by the lens isn't captured on the sensor. That results in a cropped image. The crop factor doesn't affect the magnification of the lens, only the field of view captured onto the sensor. For example, if you took a 50 millimeter lens and you put it on a full frame sensor, you would see a certain field of view. If you took that same 50 millimeter lens and put it on a crop sensor, you'd see a smaller field of view. You would actually see the same field of view that you might associate with an 80 millimeter lens. It doesn't look like an 80 millimeter lens in terms of its magnification, just in its field of view. It makes sense that a 50 millimeter lens on a crop sensor camera would look like an 80 millimeter lens because 50 times 1.6, the crop factor, is 80. The crop factor even applies to lenses made specifically for crop sensor cameras, like Canon ZFS lenses. Those lenses were made specifically for crop sensor cameras because they can use less glass, but you still have to apply the crop factor to determine what the field of view will be on a crop sensor camera. Here's the bottom line. If you have a full frame camera like the Canon 5D, you don't need to think about crop factor at all. Every lens that you can put on your camera will have its true field of view. If you do have a crop sensor camera, then you have two choices. One, you could just ignore the crop factor altogether. Put the lens on the camera, get used to the field of view, take your picture, and enjoy. On the other hand, if you're used to the field of view that a certain lens has on a full frame camera, and you want to mount that lens onto a crop sensor camera, you will have to apply the crop factor to that lens in order to know what the field of view will be on your crop sensor camera.